Hey guys, welcome to Milk at Farms. Today we're gonna to solve a problem we have here on the farm with our chick chicks and their water, or the amount of water that they have. And the problem is tomorrow we're gonna to go out of town to pick up a Jersey cow. And when we do, we have these little tiny waters. And that's not enough water for our chick chicks for an entire day. And each one of our tubs, which is what we're using to brood right now, because our brooders are full, we have about, I think one tub has about 25 turkeys in it. And the other tub has about 70 chick chicks or chickens, um, layers, Cornish crosses. And these are the ones that we need to have water where the water is gonna stay, where we have plenty of water for the full day. And so got to thinking about that and we could go out and buy some more waterers or we could use something that we have on the farm that we were gonna use for our chicken tractors. And that is, so you have one of these things and a milk jug. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna to go together. Come on, let's see if it works. So I got my milk jug. I got my little water. What's neat about this water, check it out. It moves. Okay, so as the water fills up, it shuts itself off. This might work for us. So we're gonna position this water on the side here, and I'll be, we won't be able to use all the water. We will be able to use quite a bit of it. So we're gonna position it about right there. So when it goes down, everything's gonna work. But the plastic right here is kind of soft. So we're gonna use the plastic on the side. You know what? That's a dull drill bit. Nope. Not gonna work. What do you guys think? This is pretty cool. We were running low on water and we have to go out of town tomorrow, so this seemed to make sense until I tried to get my finger in there, which I couldn't do in the top. So Emily just Emily told me to cut the top off. So that worked out pretty well. Now our animals are gonna have, you know, not quite a gallon because we can't go below this, but they're gonna have a lot more than what we had in this small thing right here. So that's, this is the size of what we have now. That's gonna give us about twice, maybe three times the amount of water. And so for tomorrow while we're away, this is gonna work really well. So I think for sure we are limited by our imagination You've got to be able to get inside there in order to seal or put the wing nut on so it will seal. And one thing I like about this company is I ordered four of these guys and they sent me one extra one. Look, I said, one extra on us. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can try them out if you want to try them. I think they're really good. They might have even come with the T so that you can put them on to a, uh, a water like we have in our our chicken tractors. I'll leave a link in the video to the chicken tractor video so you can see how we set up our waterers too. So next I'm going to put it on a bucket and once we put it on a bucket now I know that the animals that are going to be in that stall for tomorrow will have plenty of water. All right, 
So I'm gonna thread it in there pretty easily. If I could push it in, I would, but I don't think it's gonna go. Let's see. Nope. It'll thread in there. It'll be a little tighter. I'd be willing to bet that that would actually hold it and make it tight. But I'm still gonna put my wing nut on. So the reason I put them both on the front is so when I'm walking through my stalls, I don't have to worry about bumping one or the other. With them both here, I'll probably pay more attention to where it is. This is gonna work well. Um, I will give you one word of caution. Put a top on it. You don't wanna find any birds in there because they're gonna fly around and one's gonna land in there and you're gonna feel terrible. Hey guys, thanks for watching our videos. We hope you enjoy them. Until next time, wait a minute. Consider giving us a thumbs up. Then, until next time, God bless you. Hi everybody, welcome to Mill Gap Farm. Ooh, I'm out my butt got wet. <clears throat> Thanks guys, let me see. Ah, no light in this room, do we? How about that? Ah, don't worry. Thanks guys for watching our videos. Oh, I'm bald. <clears throat> That's not working. Thanks a lot for watching our videos. Consider giving us a thumbs up. Look forward to catching up with you in the next video. Until next time, God bless you guys.